Okay, this will be an interesting one. Hands really shaky today, folks. Sorry about the shuddering aspect of my video work. I just can't control it, folks. I seem to have the shakes a lot lately. Don't know why. Hate it. Sort of puts me off making my videos in some ways, but I'm still going to push through. I'm not going to let this shaking stop me making videos. I've got to keep going at it, folks. I've got a huge TV campaign coming up so I can so I can find my loved one that I lost years ago. Uh, anyway, we're photocopying this. So I'm trying to find a loved one that I lost decades ago, and I'm really sad that I'm not with him. So I have to find him, and this is the only way I can see that I'm going to find him. I've tried locating him using social media, uh, but that alone doesn't work. It only gets very far and that's it. So I'm just trying to get my stuff out there, folks. Let's see how this looks. This looks really nice, actually. Uh, I think we can use that as a really nice master copy. We still got a bit of that white stuff, but I think uh, we'll see how we go with it. Uh, basically, yeah, I'm trying to get my stuff out here. So I'm thinking how big we're gonna make this. Gonna make it on the vertical. Gonna start here, 104 by 100 and 50 but basically I'm trying to get my stuff out there so that I can find my future husband Luigi or else I'll die of a broken heart I will that'll, that'll happen we Lord Lord why am I saying Lord why am I using the Lord's name in vain God's name in vain I mean maybe I have a reason to do that because I'm maybe I'm angry at God that I haven't met my future husband Luigi, that I haven't seen him for so long. I don't know why sometimes that comes into it. Uh, I don't understand why I sometimes say that, but you know, I just get a bit down. It's a real, it's really depressing, especially around a Christmas time when you're supposed to be with your loved ones. Fuck, you know. And what's that got to do with it? with the Christmas message, you know, like, oh, it's a wonder I don't use the Lord's name in vain more often, or blaspheming, in other words. Uh, I was taught not to blaspheme by my mum, uh, even though she's not a believer, or wasn't a believer, she used to tell me not to do that, so that when I do that, it just reminds me of what I was taught as a child, not to do that. Uh, that looks really nice. So I was taught not to do that, you know, even though my mum, I think, was an atheist, like her father was an atheist or something. Uh, I'm going to probably change this. So, yeah, uh, my parents were never religious types. They were not religious folks. So it's a bit strange when that my mum had me christened as well. I was actually fucking christened, even though my mum never was never a so-called Christian. Uh, interesting concept. <laughs> An unbeliever having a child baptised, or whatever you call it, christened. <laughs> Very strange, but some funny things have happened in my life which are a little bit strange and unexplained. I do have a lot of unexplained things that have happened uh, and that was one of them why she got me christened she absolutely hates Christianity now she hates it folks she gets really angry at it she hates people forcing 
religion down her throat. I can understand that because a lot of some people who are so-called Christians do have a habit of forcing their faith down people's throats. To me, that mean that means it's more likely to turn people off. You know, just let it be. You know, just let people discover it through Christmas. You know, maybe, maybe if you let them discover it through Christmas. You know, none of this fire and brimstone shit. Repent or you will go to hell, sort of shit. You know, that's fucking stupid. I and mean, seriously, I, I'm sick of that style of witnessing saying you got to repent, repent, repent. For the, oh, fuck. No wonder people hate Christianity, folks. No wonder people would rather get drunk, drown in alcohol and, and festivities around Christmas time instead of going to church and hearing the, the gospel message or the birth of, birth of Jesus. Sorry if I used Jesus' name. I know people find that name highly offensive. I'm actually thinking, I'm doing this, am I doing this right? But basically people find the faith offensive because of all this heavy duty repent, repent, repent or you'll go to hell sort of shit. You know, honestly, if you want to be a fucking Christian, don't fucking use fire and brimstone. Don't use, you've got to be gentle with people. You've got to tell people, you know, show, show them your life. Live, live a life of godliness if such a life exists and then maybe people will become Christian I don't know uh, we don't want to turn this into a fucking religious thing so I think we'll leave it there I think now we can call this demo quits